The reason why the narcissist downgrades. The reason why they leave you for someone of a lower status, grade or level of importance. The reason why they leave you for someone who is less attractive. When the narcissist met you, they got lucky. It happened by chance rather than through their actions. They instantly recognized you and wanted to be involved with you because they recognized your qualities and abilities. You were above their usual standard. You were above what they were used to and above what they knew they deserved. So of course they wanted to be involved with you. I've talked to many of you in my coaching sessions and I can see that you are all physically attractive people. You are all very intelligent. You have ambitions. And these are all qualities that the narcissist looks for. They want the best that they can find. And that was you. But deep down they knew that they didn't deserve you. They knew that someone like them did not belong with someone like you. And that is why all they could do was sabotage it. They don't know how to treat someone of high value. And, he, and even if they did, it wouldn't matter. Because narcissists only care about themselves. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. But they always knew that you were something great. That's why they targeted you. That's why they chose to pursue you over everyone else. They knew that they didn't deserve to be in your presence. And that is why they had to put you beneath them. That is why they always had to devalue and degrade you and make you feel like you ain't shit. While they were secretly aware of just how great you are, which is the only reason why they got involved with you. They wanted to partake in all of the great things that you had to offer, but they knew it was only ever going to be temporary. They knew that someone like them does not belong with someone like you. And they knew that it was only a matter of time until you figured that out. In the beginning, you were naive. You saw someone who showed an interest in you. Someone who wanted to be with you. And you looked past everything else. You didn't consider what you deserved. You were very modest. And you saw a person who appeared to be kind and caring. Someone who appeared to want to share something with you. But as time went by, they began to devalue you. They began to play in your insecurities and make you doubt your abilities. They kept you looking at yourself in a negative way. What you didn't realize is that they only did that because they felt inferior to you. They were fully aware that you were better, but they just couldn't, they just couldn't acknowledge it. They had to trick themselves into believing that you were beneath them to make themselves feel more comfortable. And because you were already experiencing self-doubt, you agreed with them. You accepted what they said about you. 
or what they led you to believe. Rather than choosing to contest their opinion or argument, you accept that maybe they're right. Maybe they are superior to you. Maybe you do need to prove your worth to them. Maybe you are the one who was lucky, lucky to be with them. When really, it's the other way around. And that is why they had this obsessive desire and motive to put you beneath them. To make you believe that you're not as great as you are. Once the narcissist has got as much as they can out of you, or once you figure them out, they will leave and move on with someone else. But you may often notice that the person they move on with is so much less than what they claimed they deserved. While you were with the narcissist, they made you believe that they had this fixed standard of what they expect from a relationship partner. Maybe someone who is very attractive, rich, successful, someone who has their life together. But you will often see that the person they end up with after you're gone is nothing like what they said they were interested in. You may even feel disgusted that they left you for this new person. And that is why I decided to make this video. I want to assure you that who the narcissist ends up with after you're gone has nothing to do with you. Please do not compare yourself to their new source of supply. Please do not think that you are on their level. It is very common for the narcissist to downgrade after the discard. The reason for this is because they got lucky with you. And after you're gone, all they can do is return to the standard that they used to. People who are average. People who live a simple life. Because that's all a narcissist really deserves anyway. They never took the time to work on themselves. They never took the time to improve their qualities and abilities. They were only focused on improving their false image. And when they downgrade, they project parts of this false image onto the new source. I don't know if any of you have seen the movie Shallow Hal, but it's the same thing. They end up with someone who is more at their level or standard. But not only do they have this delusional, distorted view of themselves, but they also see the new source in the same way. They really believe that there's something special. They really think that you're jealous of what they have. Because the only other option would be for them to accept reality and to realize that they ain't shit. Which is something that a narcissist is never going to do. They're going to remain in their false reality until the end.
but they will downgrade after they've left you. It's the only thing they can do. They're not going to be able to find someone at your level or standard again. They know that most people like that wouldn't give them the time of day. But you did. You gave them a chance. You looked past their flaws and all of their problems and you invited them into your life. And there was a price to pay for that. You need to understand that not everyone is worthy of your attention. And it's usually the ones who are excessively seeking your attention that don't deserve it. Because if they were really anything great, they would have their own lives. They would have their own purpose or motivations that they are focused on outside of you. And they just wouldn't have the time to chase you. But when it's all said and done, they end up with someone just like them. They go back to the hole where they belong. And we need to return to people just like us. People who value honesty and respect, love and compassion. Because when it all comes down to it, that's what separates us. That's what makes us different. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.